So here are now at the New York Auto Show with Hedy Popson from the company Production Plus. And uh, this is a very interesting interview because this is uh, a company that helps put the show together. Can you explain that, Hedy? Sure. We have over 500 product specialists or car models, if you want to call them that, that work each of the shows globally as well as within the United States, so 83 auto shows, for 17 different manufacturers. So that's more than a show a week. How do you do that? Well, a lot of the shows overlap, so you need yeah. a bigger team than you would probably need if you had less shows overlapping. So each of our team sizes are anywhere between averaging 30 to 100 people, and they are all trained, they are all bought the same wardrobe, and then we put them all throughout the country in multiple shows at a time, having them communicate the brand message. Yeah, and it's a, it's a pretty, I, I don't want to say complicated, but there, because there's a lot of information. So can you walk me through that process of like, let's say somebody wants to get that job. How, sure. how do they do it? Well, first they send a submission, and they can send a submission any time of year, but our big heavy audition time is from April through June. So, That's what, like, the off-season for the show. Right. So as soon as the show, as soon as the New York show wraps up... You start we're working. To, we start working. <laughs> we work all year. But we have, like I said, 90... Uh, right now, we have about 90 openings. It just kind of depends. We have about 500 talent at any given time. And we always want to infuse each brand with some new people. And then all of our manufacturers are ten, tending to kind of grow their programs. So people come to us, they apply for the job, we get them on videotape, we interview them, we find out if this is something they're suited for, and if so, we put them in front of our clients for an audition. So whether it's a video audition or an in-person yeah. audition. So even though uh, they're product specialists, they're still models in, in the sense of they have to have some kind of looks, right? They just actually have to be attractive and personable, and what people consider pretty is a it's, very yeah, vast, very subjective. right? Yeah, we're exactly. in a diverse culture, we're multicultural, so we're looking for all kinds of people, all walks of life, all age groups. So starting as low as 20 and going all the way up to 60-something, because people who buy cars are all of those exactly. ages. Exactly, right. yeah. And what about languages? Languages are really becoming more and more important. We love bilingual talent. People on our teams right now are able to speak Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Lebanese, again, okay. speaking to the new American that's out there purchasing a vehicle. Exactly. So hey, tell me something about, like, new cars are coming up with a lot of new technologies and all that. For some consumers, that's kind of intimidating. Not only the price sometimes, mm -hmm. but also, like, what do I need that for? And so how, how does that uh, get the, the job more... Uh, to say complicated, or how, how does that make it harder, I guess? Well, we call it everything that's new in FAB. It's a little bit of an acronym for fabulous, yeah. but features, advantages, and benefits. Oh, so okay. what is this feature? What's its advantage? But really, what's the benefit? What does it do for me? And yeah, that makes it a lot more complicated because you're not just learning anymore about engine technology, horsepower distribution, weight distribution. Now we've got to go beyond what's under the hood, beyond the aesthetics, beyond the look of the vehicle and yeah. feel into how do I pair my phone? What is this new technology? Yeah. How do I talk to my friends while I'm driving? How do I, how do I start the car? Or something like how that. do I la load the map? How do I, you know, we like to say that you should be able to make your dinner reservations from your vehicle, talk to your friends, answer your texts, all without ever having your hands leave the wheel. And we have to explain how each manufacturer handles that per vehicle. Yeah, because manufacturers put a lot of effort and resources into putting that technology into the car, but if the consumer doesn't get how it works, it's almost wasted, right? It's a lost point, and everybody has, it's like an airbag. Everybody has an airbag, but unless yeah. I tell you what it can do for you, it means nothing. Exactly. So our people have to illuminate everything in that vehicle that can be something that's an attribute to a particular consumer on any particular day in any particular city, Yeah. and that gets complicated. And uh, so now tell me, what would your recommendation for consumers how to approach, because a beautiful lady is some intimidating for some people. So or a beautiful be man, because we or have men too. But okay. I think I was talking to... about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always good to remember when you enter any kind of consumer event that it's a consumer event. Yeah. So the people, no matter how beautiful or, or how engaging they look, you know, our people are very approachable, and that's their job. So you paid your money. You're coming in. It's different than going to a retail store where you don't pay to enter. You pay to enter. And that's what we always tell our product specialists. People have paid their money. They need to get some value. So feel free to go up to any of them yeah. and ask them any question. Now, we have that whole group that likes to stump the product specialist and does their well, research. No, I, was talking, I wasn't referring to that. I was referring to how, like, right. approach with, like, ask a lot of questions. Like, don't be afraid of, like, don't repeating the questions and all that. 
So, Heidi, one final question. Um, you obviously the spokesperson for the company, but I, I heard that you started doing this like some time ago. There's a little rumor. I did start in 1989 <laughs> as a junior in college. Wow. And I was a product specialist for Nissan for 17 years. What cars do you remember from them? I remember the introduction of the first Sentra, the first Altima. Oh, they just introduced uh, the, the new... No, now they have the new Murano, yeah. but I remember exactly. the Murano. And I was the Quest girl for a whole year, the minivan. So oh, really? I stand by that brand <laughs> with pride. <laughs> how, how, I mean, being a specialist in cars, how do you... I mean, it's a huge difference. Huh? Though back then they had a radio, maybe uh, seat belts, airbags. Yeah, we, and... Our job was a lot easier. We yeah. had real questions like, "What's the American percentage of parts in this vehicle?" You know, oh very God. simplistic yeah. things, whatever the hot topic is at the time. But excellent. And now this is really the last question because I forgot. So, what's the where's the website for people to find out about the editions and all that for these opportunities? It's www.productions with the s dash plus p l u s dot com. Excellent. Well, my people, we were posted on a Facebook page also, so people can like take a look at that, and maybe we'll see someone new at the LA Auto Show or someone in Detroit next year. Absolutely. Well, Heidi Panza from Production Plus, thank you very much for your time and information. And I, I know you're not doing that anymore, but it will be great to see to, to check a car with you because you will like, give a great explanation of it. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for having me. Excellent. Thanks. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.